My father was a man who gave us everything. And I'm just going to talk about his last mile. Because as a family, we want you to know how blessed he was. He had good life. He lived well. He gave his family everything and he was a humble man. kila kitu. As the children, as the grandchildren, and I can tell you my mother can echo this a million times. He was a very lucky man that gave us everything. He's had one or two episodes in his health life. I want to just talk about his last one year. So on the last year, in fact beginning 2022, he, we kept taking him to hospital and we did not know what the problem was. But last September, when he was hospitalized, his very good doctor, Dr. Silverstein, called us, his children, to have a chat. And I want to pass this to you because you'll get some education about each and every one of our bodies. He told us he has been treating him for 40 years. And in those 40 years, he has looked after his heart. But he seems to have gotten a condition called amyloidosis. Amyloidosis is an amyloid infection that gets into the red blood cell and takes the protein in that cell and folds it. Folds it like a book. And when it folds it, it travels through the bloodstream and gets lodged into muscles in the body. Unfortunately, that amyloid, that folded protein, had lodged into his heart over years. We had never heard of this. So we asked him, what is the cause? He said, it's very simple. It is actually just the lack of omega-3, 6, and 9. Over a period of time. And unfortunately, there was no cure. But he said there was a trial being done of a stem cell nature in the U.S. And he felt that that trial, maybe he can convince them to treat our father. They came back to us. They told us it's very expensive. In the region of plus 40 million, we said, if another day of our father's life, we don't care about the money. That is not an issue. They came back to us a second time, and they said he's too old. The trials that they were doing were not beyond the age of 60. If he was 70, maybe they would have accepted. So we had to live with a fact since last September that our father was going to go through slow heart failure to his passing away. This is something we could not share with him because he was a very positive man. And we did not want to give him that news. It's something we could not share with our own mother. So over the last one year or so, as children who have had everything from him, who we are, who never denied us anything, who gave us a lot of love and all the love that he had in his heart, 
who gave us whatever support we needed all our lives. He was blessed. He was so blessed. And he loved the Lord so much. We as siblings had to watch him die slowly. And with all that we have, even as children, we could do nothing for him. It has been a painful journey. A very painful journey. And I can tell you, he chose the day of his death. Our mother here, who stood by him, who loved him, she has never seen him like this. He's been a pillar in her life. Could only but do everything possible to keep him positive. And I can tell you, he tried. We were there at Christmas. He would get up and he would laugh with us. He would shine for about two weeks and then he would go down. The last month or so, he barely opened his eyes. He could not walk. And then the last two weeks or so, three weeks, he was not talking. But those nurses you see here, last Tuesday when Parliament was raided, and I'm telling you, he could not open his eyes for more than about two, three minutes, and then close them and grunt and smile knowing who is present. He was aware. His mind was aware. Last Tuesday, one of them called Mwangi calls me up and says, you can't believe it. Your father's watching TV, Citizen TV. He's watching Parliament being raided. I said, what do you mean? He said he's opened his eyes. He's been watching for about an hour. And he's smiling. He's smiling. The day after that, he completely refused to take anything. Our mother called us up and said he does not want to drink water. Can you all come and try and convince him? I got there ahead of my siblings and did the best to try and push some liquid down him, some soup, some protein drink, and it was a struggle. He kept doing this, he kept gritting his teeth, he kept hitting my hand. He would hit my mother's hand. But we got something down him. And with him there, I held my mother's hand and I said, I think he has decided he wants to go. And sure enough, a day later, he left us. We thank God for him. We loved him greatly. He gave us everything. And if there's one thing he has left in our hearts and minds, is positivity and love of God. Thank you very much for coming. We appreciate it all. Santeni sana.